All right, everybody, how's it going? It's Leslie. I'm in the garden with Clyde, and Bonnie's probably over there somewhere. So I thought I'd just share with you all what's going on here lately. And what we're going to do here is um, I've got some plants that I decided that since this gets a nice amount of shade, I'm going to plant some of them down here. Ooh, I think there's a bug on me. And there is. It's a little spider, but we'll live. So anyway, I'm going to plant my Congo watermelon along the edge here and see if I can't get it to grow down. And um, we got this beautiful cucumber here. Let's see here. This is... Look out, Clyde. Let's see. Got this beautiful fella here. And there's a little baby one right here as well and lots of flowers this one is a straight eight. Oh, there's two there's a straight eight and there's a market more so one of these is a straight eight and one of them is a market more so we'll see these are gonna go up along this here I'm gonna put some stringers up between here and uh, so then I'll have the Congo watermelon and laying along the bottom this is a yellow zucchini and it got about a hundred degrees in the greenhouse and they started bolting so I'll have to do some research I'm not sure if I can still save these plants once they bolt like this um, the fruit looks okay but the acorn squash that I had up in the rafters isn't doing so well so I'll do some research I'm gonna water this fella today and I guess I would plant it, but look, this is what's happening to all the fruits that come off of this stuff that's all heat, heat stressed. Um, what do we got here? It looks like we have another cucumber. We have California Wonder Green Pepper, yellow, red, you know, rainbow pepper. So these are plants I'm going to do. I'm going to give these to Eric's dad and let's see, watermelon this is going to be a little uh, golden jubilee tomato a cucumber so got some peas and stuff there and what I really wanted to come outside and show y'all was the craziest thing <clears throat> so behind me here you've got all my potatoes these should all be Yukon gold potatoes and as far as I know the ones I did last year they grow in the bucket. So today, Eric is looking at these like, what the heck is going on? He's like, it looks like you got some tomatoes growing in there. I'm like, I thought I pulled the tomatoes out of there. So check this out. So they all look the same. All these should be potatoes. And then he started looking at here today. Look at this cluster of what looks like tomatoes. Oh, oh, and one just, <gasps> two dropped off. Oh no. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why these look like tomatoes growing on my potatoes. See the leaf? The leaf looks the same. This is the one that has the is that I just pulled these off of and then here is one that doesn't have any there's gonna be some flowers here though but these looks the same looks like we got they're coming out opposite then there's the big one at the end same thing here they come out opposite of each other and there's one at the end same thing here so I don't know why and then I looked around and I found some on this one too where'd it go here it is right here there's one right there oh and there's one over there dangling so it's very interesting. I'll have to look this up because it looks like a tomato to me. So, but yeah, 
check out the greenhouse. It's all, everything's trying to bolt in here. My poor basil. It's too hot in here, even with those open. But I've been keeping the cucumber watered good, and you can see there's a big one in there. There it is. Boom. It's huge. There it is. And with all of the windows open, we have 30% humidity and it's about 100 degrees. So, not the greatest. I got the little fan on in here behind me. My uh, red potatoes. These are my red potatoes I planted. And so, these are going to be red potatoes. Most of them are already all the way up. Got a couple slow ones down there. Those are looking real good. Coming up real good. And then I had some sweet potatoes that I was cooking. And one of them had already had a couple of blooms. So I went ahead and pulled these. Stuck them in some dirt. We'll see. I stuck a couple in here. So I got three buckets of sweet potatoes going. Looks like we got some growth here coming out right there. So my little bucket of thyme with my little hen and chick is in there. This one's looking cute. My marigold's actually living. I can't believe it's living in this short it's not that big, but it's coming up good. Got a couple more in there. All oh, these were free. Free 99. That's my favorite. Cheaper free. It must be for me. All right, y'all. Plant some power. Plant some peace. Eat some plants.